How do you think? How do you manage to be conscious? You don't know. How do you open and close your hand? Do you know? Whenever a questioner used to come to Sri Ramana, the great Hindu sage who died a few years ago, they said to him, Master, uh, was I living before in a previous incarnation? And if so, who was I? And he would say, who is asking the question? Who are you? He has a funny look in his eye. As if to say, come off it, Shiva, I know what you're doing. <laughs> and he said, what, me? <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at you in a funny way. And uh, finally, uh, he suggests, you see, that you practice the control of the mind. That you become desireless give up selfish desire so as to cease to be a skin encapsulated self but then after that he throw a curve at you which is um, but aren't you still desiring not to desire why are you trying to be unselfish but there it is because what he's done you see uh, he's beginning to make you see the unreality the hallucinatory quality of a separate self. So, uh, when this realization of the hallucination of the separate self comes about, it comes about through discovering that your alleged separate self can't do anything. It can't improve itself, either by doing something about it or by doing nothing about it. Both ways are based on illusion. You see, this is what you have to do to get people out of hallucinations. You make them act consistently on the suppositions of the hallucination. Well, what happens then? The state of mystical illumination, although it may in its sudden onset be accompanied by a sensation of tremendous luminescence and transparency, uh, as you get used to it, it's just like everyday life. When the great Dr. D.T. Suzuki was asked, what is it like to be enlightened? He said, it's just like ordinary everyday experience, except about two inches off the ground. Because what is altered is not the way your senses perceive. What is altered is the, what you think about it. Your definitions of what you see. Your evaluation of it. So when you don't cling to it, when you have no longer a hostile attitude to the world because you know the world is you, it is. <laughs>